Alrighty YouTube, how are you guys doing today? In this video, as you can see from the title, I will be giving you a demo of the next operating system from Apple called, of course, Line. This is Apple's Line developer preview number four. This is gonna be when it comes out in July in a month's time. It will be exactly the same other than from bug fixes. There's not gonna be any new features added to the developer preview. There's some apps are buggy. The reason why you can't see my face is simply because screen flow does not work on uh, line for about the past hour or so since I've installed this. This is absolutely amazing. And I just wanna share with you as to how it works. Now you can't see my face because I'm, it's a bit difficult to try and get a screen capturing software that you can see me, but I'm gonna show you what you're here for, which is line. First thing we're gonna do is go over the gestures. Now, one of the main features of Line itself is the mission control, and basically to enable that, you simply swipe up, and it'll give you a nice bird's eye view of all your screens. So here, I've got my mail, here system preferences, and here's the two websites. Note they're coupled together simply because they are two Safari browsers. So it's nice that way that it's coupled, and also pinch and zoom, which we've always kind of had anyway. Uh, with even Snow Leopard. So here's a picture that I have here. Whoops, let's get that in the middle, if that is possible. How on earth do I do that? Right, there we go. And you simply just use your two fingers to pinch and zoom, as you would here. Way Right, okay, and the next one is, is this here. So this pretty much is App Expose, and we've always, again, had this, but I believe the gesture is kind of new. Um, you could correct me on that one, but I've recently discovered it. So pinch out ex expose to enable it, you just press down. Let's try it with something else. Let's take this here. Well, hey, you've got the two Safari browsers side by side. And here's another neat one. So I'm on this website here, iGear, and if I scroll to the right, it will take me to what I was doing previously. And this is where I started off from. And then going back, whoops, my internet's a bit slow, so that's why it's a bit lagging. So this is where I started off from, a blank Safari page. The first thing that I done was searched for iGear on Google, and it gave me the results. And then I clicked on the first link, which brought me to the iGear website, which will be available soon. And the next thing that I done was, or maybe I've not, is I'm going to click on the Facebook link. There we go, and we're on the iGear Facebook page, and if we go back, we hey, we're back onto the Google page, and we hey, we're back to the start. Next feature that I'm gonna show is another major feature of Line, fantastic. Now there's a couple of ways to access Launchpad. I have got Hot Corners enabled, so if I go into the top right of my corner, it enables itself. Again, Hot Corners was available in Snow Leopard as well, but now you've got a dedicated kind of gesture with it as well. Gestures is quite the main thing in line or so that I've seen over the past uh, few minutes that I've been playing about with it. So here, gestures or launchpad more or less is enabled. And here I've got my apps and I must say, I am loving this. I'm loving the fact that all your apps are in the one place. It's easy to access. You're not having to go into find their applications and then and scroll down to the list. This is nice clean cut. And then you can do more things here so you can drag and drop this in here. Similar to what you can do on the iPad and iOS and then you can rename the folder if you still wish to do so. And here are some of the apps that are working fine. Not too sure what uTorrent is. I think it just came by default. <clears throat> Twitter, uh, mPlayer, Bart and Fart Piano. No idea why I've got this. And here are the regular applications. So you've got FaceTime address book. The next application uh, which I want to show you is, let's go into photo booth and so you can see me. I hope you can see me. I hope. Let's get into frame and hey, you can see me indeed. So let's go into full screen mode. This is pretty neat. And you've got a full photo booth. Really nice effects. One of the kind of thing that lacked in Snow Leopard was there was hardly any effects. So let's go into effects and see. This is the Twitter effect. This is the Twitter integration. And it's going to be lagging a bit simply because I'm in low light and I'm recording the screen as well using QuickTime Player. So if you're seeing lag on your side, it's because I'm recording. So I probably should leave right now. Close this down. But Photo Booth is a huge improvement. You've got nice effects. 
get these birds out of my way. Nice neat effects and you can also put your custom kind of background in it as well should or whenever they become available. Guys lastly I want to show you the revised mail. This is probably one of my favourite kind of upgrades to line. It's totally been revamped you know UI wise and the features that are packed into this are super super nice as you can see the UI itself you've got new buttons across here at the top the preview which is probably one of my favorite things they are kind of SMS kind of conversation styled so here's Martin West who sent a very kind email uh, and here's the two emails that he sent and they kind of you know squashed up into the one um, which is needless to say pretty neat and if I want to see my kind of um, the full message I can click on see more uh, and also if I kind of hover around this bit here you can delete the message right from here you can reply you can forward which is pretty cool if I want to go to full screen mode and this works for pretty much all the apps including photo booth mail and what this allows you to do is get a full screen kind of view on mail which is great if you're doing kind of loads of stuff if you just want to focus on your mail and what's good is you can scroll between this page here and your apps so here is kind of my regular stuff so you know I'm browsing the web I want to put in websites here and then I want to kind of go back and concentrate on mail simple simples as that advert says on TV we're back on to mail uh, and huge huge fan of this and guys I just want to kind of you know finish off with if you've used line what do you think what are your views I'll do a kind of a more updated uh, review after about a week or a few weeks and kind of give you a positive thing on it I'm liking, or shall I say I'm loving, what I'm seeing so far. If you've tested this, leave a video response, a comment. If you can rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel, you, sir, would be a legend and a half. If you want to see more videos in line, feel free to post them down below. Should you go out and get a line, I will do a video out on that very soon. Um, but guys, if you can check my channel out for more videos that you may be of interest to you, does that sentence make sense? I have no idea. But if you want to see more videos, go on to eyeglassregion.com. Guys, I will see you guys in another life. Cheers.